What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We're currently still in the middle of a, our testimony, cross-examination of Mr. Ted Tonate. And what we're doing is he claims that he clearly saw his ID L10015R. I think that's what it is. Well, I've got it memorized now. Um, and I've just presented evidence of the blood, bloody writing analysis that shows that you can only see up to Woods which only goes up to five, not including the last R. That's why I presented the evidence. Uh, let's see. Take a good look at the photo in the bloody writing analysis. Now tell me, does it really say L10015R? No. Eep! Something is missing, isn't it? And that something is the final R. Boom, I'm good. It is only the first trial. Let's settle down now, me. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Tonate? Oh, right now I remember. Oh, yes, of course. Let me lie on further. There was no R on the end. It was just a slip of the finger. My bad. Stop saying my bad. Come back, my beautiful contradiction. Mr. Wright, I'm not so sure it was just a simple slip of the finger. You have something for me, Athena? I sense that he's extremely agitated. Almost panicked. Well, that's much as obvious. You saw him chewing on the wire of his Nintendo GameCube. Look at there he goes again. He looks pretty flustered. Are you sure? Let's keep examining. Let's really make sure. Hmm, yes. He might be stressed. I think so. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears it was nothing more than a mere mistake. Are you... Oh, Judge, I'm gonna slap you around. I don't know. Did he really just make a typo? What about that R? Did Mr. Tonate really see it? Damn right he saw it! He knows exactly what he saw! Maybe Mr. Tonate really did see the R. But there's no R anywhere in the bloody writing. What's going on here? I've already explained this in the last video. It's because it's from the rubble. Let's take a good look at the photo. I think maybe... That's it! What is it now, Mr. Wright? Are you trying to imitate Apollo and his cords of steel? I've got it. So that's what happened. Come on, Phoenix, keep up, keep up! A slip of the finger! Is that really all it was? Because I don't think so! I propose that Mr. Tonate really did see the letter R. <gasps> but... The photo clearly shows that there is no R. No, Your Honor. Actually, just the opposite is true. The photo shows that Mr. Tonate actually could have seen the R. If you're going to make that claim, then you'd better be able to point out what you mean. What part of the photo shows that Mr. Tonade could have seen the R? It's so obvious! Come on, son! Right, right, right. Why do they show this green screen? What does this thing do? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, what, I was dragging the stylus across the green screen. Okay, hold on. Let's get back to it. Take that! Take that! Please look here to the right of the five. Do you see a little bit of red? Oh, I see it! Just on the edge of where the floor is broken. Speaking of edge, where the hell is Edgeworth? Speaking of Edgeworth, where's Gumshoe? That's the R that Mr. Tonate saw. Objection. It's true that the witness wears some very odd goggles, but that doesn't mean his eyesight is bad, nor his brain power. What part of that little smudge looks like an R to you? Objection. But what Mr. Tonate saw wasn't that little smudge. There was a whole incomplete R written there, before the floor was damaged by the explosion. Oh, well, that explains it. Huh? Care to explain what you mean? Just because you pro Wait, because you just proposed that everything happened in the exact opposite order. Yep, because that's the way it really went down. The timing of when the R was written turns everything about this case around. Hold on a minute. So if this happened before the explosion, that would mean... Uh, Tonate murdered her wrote the letter, then set the bomb off. Of course, the room would have to be evacuated by then. Interesting. Hmm, okay. Now then, if the floor was damaged by the explosion, when was the message written? Before. Wait, wait, wait. Floor was damaged by the explosion? Yeah, before. With the bloody message running off the edge of the damaged floor like that, we can only conclude that it was written before the explosion. But that's ridiculous! That's ridiculous! If that were true, it overturns your own premise. Hey, I'm Phoenix Wright, that's what I do, baby. 
That's right, it does. In fact, it turns everything upside down, topsy-turvy. Topsy-turvy. The victim was not killed by the explosion in the courtroom. She was killed before the explosion ever occurred. Order in the court! What kind of preposterous claim is that? Have you forgotten that the victim's body was found at the scene of the explosion? Objection! Yeah, bitch. True, but consider this scenario. She was hit on the head and killed before the explosion. Or even before the trial began. Her body was subsequently placed in the courtroom room and- <gasps> Maybe the transport- No, no, that's just absurd. Okay. Let's see. That way it could be made to look like she was a victim of the blast. What? It sounds like we had better look into what the victim was doing before the trial. Mr. Payne, did anyone see the detective detective army before the trial? Bum bum. Let's see. According to the police report. Ah, here it is. One person. One person saw the victim before the trial. And that person was Ted Tonate. Yeah. Yeah. No one besides Mr. Tonate saw the victim? That appears to be the case, Your Honor. Oh, let me get a sip of some coffee. Oh, it's getting cold. Ugh, it's cold. Mm. I would now ask the court to recall something. Specifically, Mr. Tonate's words from yesterday. It was when Detective Army and I were transporting the bomb. Oh my. Mr. Tonate, just before the trial, you were with the victim. The two of you were together at the scene of the crime, courtroom number four. Ah. Your Honor, the defense requests new testimony from Mr. Tonate. Oh no, not more testimony! Mr. Tonate, your testimony, please. All right. My testimony, there is no need for. Wally gajaga jibba 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 dabba dabba li doo. He's completely unnerved, Mr. Wright. You must hit the nail on the head. Because opt. All I did was transport the bomb to the con court roof. I already told you. Pow! Tuleska! Uditskasi! Greg! Blast this thing. I was only in the courtroom with the victim because of our work. I swear I was only transporting the bomb there. Objection! Dude, you cannot treat a GameCube that way. Those things are out of commission. You and the victim were alone together at the scene of the crime. In other words, you certainly had the opportunity to commit murder, did you not? Objection! Dun -dun -dun. Do you always leave yourself so open to attacks, Mr. Wright? What now, Mr. Payne? What now? Yes, Mr. Tonate may have had the opportunity to kill Detective Arm, E, but an important piece of your assertion is missing. What important piece? The murder weapon. What do you claim was used to kill the victim? Mr. Payne has a point. Even if Mr. Tonate had the chance without a weapon, we can't accuse him of the crime. Well, Mr. Tonate. Oh, uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> that's the that's the face he's making. <laughs> I didn't have any sort of thing that could be used as a murder weapon on me. I couldn't possibly have killed Detective Army. Look at that face. Did he really have nothing he could use as a murder weapon? Hmm. Hmm. What is it, Athena? Just looking over the victim's autopsy report, I'm hoping there's something in there that can point us in the right direction. Well, it does say that she died from trauma to the back of the head with a flat object. Yeah, and to inflict that specific kind of injury, all you would need is a flat surface, right? A heavy, blunt object with a flat surface could definitely be our murder weapon. Well, Mr. Wright, can you indicate for the court what was used to kill Detective Army? I believe I can. Believe being the key word here. You can? Dun, 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 dun. Then please do so now. Okay. Dun, dun. What did Mr. Tonate have that could have been used as a murder weapon? If I had a face cam, you could see me, but I'm, I'm kind of bobbing my head around this. Mm, I love this. Boom, boom. Okay. Uh, I love these because it's so simple, so much simpler than having to find which evidence uh, statement I have to press against. Okay. So really, I just gotta find something that's flat and was used as a murder weapon, so. Nope. Yep, 
that's... Yep, that's definitely it, but I'm gonna keep looking anyways. I guess he could have used a, a remote switch. Ah, it's kind of stupid. Ooh, maybe it is the missing remote switch. Because... It's missing. That could be it. Hold on, let's keep looking. Um, nope. Uh, maybe if she tripped in it, tripped on it or something. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's see. Let's let's get the details. Uh huh. Yep. All right. Let's. <gasps> oh! See, I was looking for blood originally. No, look. There's a crack. Oh, there's a crack on the screen on the timer. Oh, see, I was gonna look at this thing. But, yeah, oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, can you put the stylus back? Take that! Mr. Tonate, you say you didn't have anything that could be used as a weapon. But, in fact, you had the perfect thing. Your Nintendo GameCube. What? What the devil are you talking about? You had this. That's the bomb. I thought you were trying to prove that the victim wasn't killed by the bomb blast. Keep up, Judge, keep up. The bomb blast, no, but I believe Candace Army was killed with this bomb. Because this is the blunt object that delivered the fatal blow to her head. Please recall the description of Detective Army's head wound. Trauma to back of head caused by impact with a flat object. Also, where's Emma Sky? I mean, in almost every other case, every other game trial, almost, a detective is the first person to give their testimony before any witness. So in the first three games, it'd be Gumshoe, who was awesome, because Gumshoe is just an adorable teddy bear. And then there's Emma Sky in the fourth game. So what? We assume this injury was sustained when her head hit the floor. But a blow from any flat side of this bob would produce the exact same wound pattern. Cool, don't break it. What's with him? Clearly gone mad. Then show me some proof. Wait, uh, where's the evidence that I hit the victim with the bomb? Well, shoot. Okay. He's right, I don't have anything decisive. Did you find any of the victim's blood on the bomb? That would be decisive proof. Obviously he brings it up because he cleaned it, right. The bomb is blown to bit- Oh, or that's the reason? Huh. Wait, if the bomb blew up, how do, how do I know there's a crack on the- I'm, I'm very confused here. Boom, game over. Yeah. Uh. Mr. Wright, is there really nothing on the bomb- On the bomb in the photo? Ah, I don't see any blood or any- Wait, yeah, the crack! What, what, I don't understand. Look, look at the crack. The timer display is a little broken here. I exactly, that's the- that's... Maybe it broke when it made contact with Detective Army's head. That's definitely a distinct possibility. But unless we find a fragment with the victim's blood on it, it's not going to count. Uh, I guess you're right. Okay... By setting the bomb, Tony- I swore! There was a piece of evidence, at some point, with blood on the corner. That's what I was originally looking for before. By setting off the bomb, Tone managed to obliterate all traces of the murder weapon. What in the world do I do now? I got to change gears and look at things in a different way. Instead of looking for the things he wasn't able to hide, I should be looking for a way to expose the things he did hide. Okay, Ted Tone murdered Detective Army before the trial started. Then he placed her body in the courtroom after the bo bomb went off. Which means there was something he needed to keep hidden until then. I think I have just the thing. Okay, um... What would that be? Would that be the, um... The Scooty, the, the transport case? What is it? Okay, um... I need... Really, there's nothing here. Okay, hold on. Nope. Why this? No, I can't even check details for that thing. This thing. No? Really? Huh. Okay. In the last game, you were able to rotate objects. I guess not in this one. What? What is it? Um. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. 
What the heck is it? Oh god, I'm out of evidence! Oh no! Hold, uh, hold on, okay. So, it's definitely not this one, because they just said it. Um... No? This is hidden, but he's, he clearly said that it's something that's not hidden. My attorney badge, that's it. No. Okay, so it's one of these five. Ah, oh, damn it. What is it? What is it? Um... He did probably hide the case, but that doesn't happen. Um... Uh, wait! Present the photo that shows exactly what Mr. Tonate had to hide. It's a photo! There's only... There's only two photos! Oh, whoops. The courtroom bombing and the Apollo assault. Uh... I mean, he did hide the... 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 the marker, the marks. Um... Take that! Your Honor, please take a look at this! The fact that Mr. Tonate hid this makes it decisive ev evidence for my case. Ah, shit, I got it wrong. Gah! I'm not sure I really understand what you mean by that, Mr. Wright. I had a 50-50 shot of getting it right. There were two photos. I'm not sure either, Your Honor. Me either. Here's a penalty to inspire you to make more comprehensible assertions in the future. Damn it, Phoenix, I blame you! What a, that was a spectacular belly flop. But I can't back down now. I'd better reconsider what Mr. Tonate could have hidden. Ted Tonate murdered Detective Army before the trial started. Then he placed her body in the courtroom after the bomb went off. I already read all this before. Yes, yes, okay. We, we know what it is now. Take that! Your Honor! There's something we've all been overlooking. I have no idea. He'll have to tell me. If the murder took place before the trial... Oh, the body position, right? Wait. I don't know. Mr. Tony would have had to hide the body somewhere during the trial. Hey, you're right. And if we can figure out where that hiding place was, exactly, we might be able to find some evidence we can pin him down with. So where could Mr. Tony have hidden the body during the trial? The case, right? That was what I thought originally. Take that! That's all I can think of. Wait. A box big enough for a body, a box that was in the courtroom the whole time, a box nobody would touch if they thought there was a bomb in it. So we're gonna look for blood in it? Mr. Tonate! What is it? Do you finally have some decisive evidence to show me? No! You're the one who's going to show it to me! Come again? You heard me! Now show me what's inside that bomb transport case! Dun 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 dun- Wait! Why? No! There's no need! You shut your mouth, Phoenix! I've got him now! Just before the trial, you killed the victim with a blunt object! And then you placed her body in the ruins of the courtroom after the bomb went off. Clearly, you were trying to make it look like she died in the explosion. But where was the body hidden during the trial? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. The answer is right here. Inside a box made of thick alloy plating that can withstand any impact. Um, no, that's, uh, completely false. If it is false, you should have no objections to showing us your transport case. So, let's open it up and take a look inside, shall we? Dun 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 Oh. Oh my. Wait. He's- oh, he said it, okay. I was really hoping an old character was gonna show up. Let's not. Not if you value your life. <gasps> Another bomb? Remain calm and listen carefully. This bomb will detonate in five minutes. What? Huh? I repeat, this HH-3000 will detonate in five minutes. What's going on? Your Honor, I recommend you adjourn this trial. Before this bomb goes off. Mr. Tonate, are you... are you threatening me? Eh, 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 I am only one who can disable this bomb. Why would you use a computer to express a laugh? What a weirdo. If you do not want to die, your only option is to listen to moi. But Mr. Tonate, didn't you say that's just a training model? A fake to practice on. I did, but I also lied. This is the real deal. This is the HH-3000. But the HH-3000 was used to blow up courtroom number four, wasn't it? How do you know it was the real HH-3000 that blew up courtroom number four? Huh? The bomb that blew up the courtroom was a different one. 
one that I made. Ooh, and it just turned 20 minutes, so I'm gonna end this video here. So stay tuned tomorrow for the exciting next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye! They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Faster, faster! Ah!